hey druids and potential druids. Okay here. And as I promised last week, I am going to do a video about my glasses and my eyesight. Thank you Lean On Me and Specs for both requesting this video topic. Um, Lean On Me or Leon Me. I'm not sure how to say your name. I'm sorry. Wants to know what my prescription is. Uh, I'm not really sure. It's pretty high because my glasses are pretty thick. Let me show you. Can you see? Hmm. I hope you could tell. But they're pretty thick and I don't think my eye doctor can really increase them very much more. And she also asked how much can I see without my glasses. Not a whole lot. I'm pretty blind without seeing them. And to prove this I'm going to take them off and try to read from American Short Fiction. That's just open to a random page. This is by Josh Well, or Wheel. I'm not sure how to say his name either. And it's called Sparrow. Okay. This is where I normally read. Sometimes even lower. It's like about at my belly button right now, and I can still see it fine with my glasses. But without my glasses, and it's still at my belly button, it looks like black squiggles. I cannot see what is on the paper. So let's see how close I have to get. Still can't see, still can't see, kind of am seeing. Okay, I can read this somewhat. It will not surprise you that the weeks that followed are resident ruffians took little interest in the solarium. At first they complained about the waste of labor, labor, but as it was clear that deliverance could not do much of anything else, they soon re recanted, or at least ceased to care. Yeah, that was kind of hard. I'm really sorry if that was a bad reading. I couldn't see it very well. Um, and then Spex asked um, if I was nearsighted or farsighted. I'm sorry Spex, but I don't know. I always get them mixed up and I can't remember. I can't see without my glasses, near or far. I guess I'm probably more nearsighted, but I'm not sure. If you can tell me, if anyone can tell me, post in the doobly doob below. Um, again, I got asked what my prescription was. Sorry, Specs, but I can't tell you that because I don't know. I don't think I ever was told. <laughs> I can tell you I wear plastic lenses and they're photo tinted so when I go out in the sun they turn dark gray or brown. And again, I was asked how much I can see without my glasses. Very little. Very, very little. Um. I guess I'll try reading a little bit more because she wants me to read more. This is from the same story. If they had been less intellectually stunted, or even if simply endowed with a mod modicum of common sense, they would have taken a great interest indeed. For now that the balloon was manned continuously from a cock crow to candle lighting, 
The effect was breathtaking. Still having a very hard time reading that. I'm sorry. And finally, she asked a little different question. To describe something in my room without my glasses. On a table that I can't really tell is a table, but I know it's a table because I put it there. There is a grayish blue blob, a circle of some sort, I think it's the head of a bust, a cream thing that looks like it's scalloped, and I think there's a box sitting on the table, and I also see another cream thing with a dark form beside it. Not very good description, huh? Now, I'm going to stand up and show you what I was describing. This was what I was talking about. <sighs> Not a great description, huh? Pretty blurry. Pretty icky. Nondescript. I wish I could get it out of focus so you could kind of see what I was seeing. I'm gonna try. Okay. I tried. I can do it. I'm sorry. Uh, the best way to try is if you have glasses, take them off and look around. If you don't have glasses, find a person with glasses and try them on and you'll see how I see. Um, what else can I tell you about my eyes? I have a condition called map, map dot dystrophy. I was apparently born with it, but only knew about this eye condition about a year and a half or two years ago. What happens is I get holes in my cornea. It's very painful. And it only happens when I close my eyes at night and sleep. So when I wake up, my eyelids can tear my corneas, which cause little holes and little lines in the eye. They heal. I have to put eye drops and a solution of salt and lanolin in my eyes. That keeps my me lubricated in my eyes and keeps my eyes moist and it prevents them from tearing which is a good thing so that's not fun it causes me to be very sensitive to the sun I don't like being out when it's sunny because it hurts my eyes it feels like they're being burned with acid. So yeah, that is another eye thing I have. But I just had a checkup with my eye doctor and he said all is good. My eyes look healthy. He just had a time finding a new prescription for me, which I'm not sure why. Oh well, my right eye is the dominant eye and it did get a little bit of a change. My left eye is my weaker eye and it, he couldn't improve it. He just kept having me blink and kept fiddling with the knobs and everything. Couldn't do anything. So, <laughs> well, can't really do anything about it I guess. And I think I'm going going to end this video because I'm rambling. Hmm. Ramble, ramble, ramble.